Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to boomstick, boomstick, boomstick. Uh, what do you mean, Ragnar? Boomstick, flying stick, go boom. Ah, yes. Explosive arrows. I will show you how to unlock them, craft them, show some content of me using them, and then share my thoughts upon them. Let's get in there, shall we? So to unlock the craft for the exploding arrows, you need to do a quest for the alchemists. And to get this quest, you need to have the grinder, and you also need to have the alchemy station. When all that is checked, the quest you will get is called Scientific Instruments for a Laboratory. Was it laboratory? I don't know. When you get to the location, just run up to the red scroll and read it. That should progress your quest further on. Open your map and check for the next location. Here, you will find some bird's nest guarded by red giant birds. Take them out with a ranged weapon and loot the corpse glowing in one of the nests. After this, check your map again for the next location and move there. When you arrive at this location, look for a red glow and go and loot it. With this item in hand, head back to the alchemist and craft the Athanor. With this, combined with other materials, you can now craft the laboratory. With the laboratory in place, you can now find the craft for black powder. Coal powder can be made in the grinder and alchemical base in the alchemy station. You'll need a total of 5 black powder to craft 25 explosive arrows. If you're interested in my skills, then you can see them right here. So I went for ranger to get that extra damage into the bow. Then the assassin, because there are some perks in here that actually work specifically for the exploding arrows. And of course, the updraft and the mandatory double jump in the game. Why isn't this baseline? Question mark. And some points into melee because I like melee. And it, for me, it feels like a fun and good way to have a backup when the mobs gets too close to you. Now, let's go blow some things up, shall we? Personally, these errors was a letdown. I was looking forward to test these from the second I saw they were in the game. But you just don't cut it when it comes to the damage output compared to the time you need to invest into gathering and crafting all the materials. But hey, I'll let some content run with me using them and then you can make up your own mind. If you're still watching and like the video, then maybe consider doing a sub and come follow me over Twitch TV Simon Says. Take care and may Odin be with you.